guys and welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video so today we're going to be doing some glittery french tips and we're going to add some of these butterfly charms very cute and i'm going to be using these shimmery poly gels they kind of look like this with a nice shimmer in them so i just have like the spring colors a light yellow pink blue green and purple and we're also going to be using some nude poly gel from mccart so i think that's pretty much all we're going to need so let's just get right into this nail set so here are my natural nails they're just like a little bit crusty especially around the cuticle area so we're just gonna fix that i'm gonna start off by pushing back the cuticles and i'm also going to scrape up any of this excess residue that's around the cuticle area Now I have my cuticle scissors and I'm just going to trim off this excess dead skin that's around the cuticle area. Alright, next I'm going to be taking my fine grit sanding band and I'm just going to work this around the cuticle area and also just slightly file over the surface of the nails. Okay, so I got to peel off base coat on my nails and now we're just going to be sizing out the nail tips. These are just some not polished nail tips and they're very long and beautifully squared. Okay, so I have the nail tips all sized out and now we're just going to cure on these nail tips with some base coat. Okay, so the nail tips are all glued on and now I'm just going to trim them down. Okay, so this is the length that I chose and now I'm just going to reshape the nail tips. I'm just kind of going to file the sides of the nails and also make sure that the tip of the nail is straight. Okay, so here's how the nail tips are looking and now I'm just going to remove the shine from them using my fine grit sanding band. We're going to be adding on some base coat. Okay, so I have all the base coat on the nails now. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so we're gonna be using this nude poly gel and we're gonna get started on these French tips. So I would like these to be deep French tips because I love deep French tips. I just like doing those the most. So we're gonna start off with a bead of this nude poly gel at the cuticle area and to make these a deep French tip we're not gonna take this poly gel to this like these corners of the nails. We're just going to drag it up from here because we want the color of the tip to go all the way down to the sides to give that deep French tip look. Okay, I don't want it to go down the nail this far, so I'm gonna try and push some of this poly gel back, like back on top of here because we need a bit more thickness and I don't want to have all this poly gel get dragged down the nail because I don't want this part to be that long. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm just gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, and on to the next nail. We're just gonna be doing this nude part of the nail on all of the nails. So here's how I have the pointer finger. It's kind of a thin layer though, so I think I'm just gonna go over it with another layer of this. He always hangs out with me all day long. He just lays in my bed just hanging out with me while I edit my videos. And he's got a white tip tail. Hey, can I see your tail, sir? See, he has a white tip tail. Very cute. I call it light bulb tail. That's the end of the cat cam. Okay, so I have all of the nude part of the nail done. And now we're just gonna wipe off the sticky layer so that I can reshape this part. Okay, so I have all of this part of the nails done and now let's get into the fun part. So we're just gonna be using these shimmery poly gels. And here's our inspiration for this nail set. So we're gonna start on the thumbnail and this one's going to be yellow. So I'm just going to put poly gel all at the tip of the nail and then I'm going to get smoothing it out.
Wow, look how pretty this yellow is. I was about to not do these shimmery colors too. I was just going to use like regular yellows, blues, pink. But um, then I thought of the shimmery colors that I had. So these are perfect. And they had every color I needed too. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this now. All right, so here's how the thumb turned out. Now let's move on to the pointer finger. This one is going to be a light pink. Okay, so I got the pointer finger done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cure this. Okay, next color is this light blue. Middle finger is done, and now we're going to move on to the ring finger. This one is going to be this light green. These poly gels are really, really pretty. I really like this shimmery color. So I'm just going to try and get this poly gel down to the sides of the nails. This is kind of like the hardest part because the poly gel doesn't really want to get down there in the crevices. <laughs> And I find this to be the most satisfying part when you slice off this excess poly gel here. Okay, and finally for the pinky nail, this one is going to be a light purple. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe off the sticky layer from the nails. Okay, so I have all the poly gel applied and now we're going to get into reshaping these nails. So I just have my McCart Dust Collector and a hand file and let's get reshaping. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so here's how the nails are looking after they have been shaped. Very pretty so far. Next, we have these butterflies. What I think I'm going to do to adhere these butterflies is I'm going to... I'm just going to paint a layer of top coat on my nails. And I'm going to stick the butterfly into this. Now, this is not a guaranteed way for it to stay on. This is just what's easiest for me because I'm just going to be taking off these nails. But if you wanted this to last really long, you should definitely use some type of rhinestone gel to hold in these butterflies. And I'm just going to stick the butterfly into this top coat. And that's pretty much how I'm going to do it. And now I'm just going to do the same thing on the rest of the nails. Okay, so I got all the butterflies on and we already added on a layer of top coat. So I'm just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. I really like how these turned out. I just love all these colors together and I'm so happy that this kit, I forgot what it was called. I'm pretty sure it's like Ambrosia, Ambrosia. I'm not sure. It's some kind of name like that. It'll be linked in the description though. It had the perfect exact spring colors that I needed and they're so beautifully shimmery. I just love all these poly gels. Instead of using just the regular colors, I just like how these have that nice shimmery touch. I really enjoyed doing this nail set and I thought it turned out really cute and I also think the butterflies and the colors and the shimmeriness I just think it all goes together really well just a really fun cute spring nail set to do one thing that I want to mention though is that if you recreate this nail set and you plan on keeping them on for a long time make sure you adhere these butterflies on the right way the way I did it was just like the quick and easy way but if you're gonna keep your nails on really long make sure you adhere these butterflies with some rhinestone gel or some clear poly gel or something because these butterflies are getting stuck in my hair on my clothes they're just having a higher chance of coming off so make sure you really adhere those that's just what i wanted to say but that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you all next time bye <music>